Welcome back. Trouble for tax reform. House Republicans have delayed the unveiling of their tax bill until tomorrow to reportedly finish technical work on the legislation. This coming as the Wall Street Journal reports that the GOP plan will preserve a top individual tax rate of 39.6%. Joining us right now is former McDonald's USA CEO and chairman of Fat Brands International, Ed Renzi. Ed, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. What do you make of this delay this morning, Ed? We were supposed to have the plan out today. Now we're going to get it tomorrow. Well, it's a difficult and ambitious schedule, to say the least, but we better get it right. The middle class in this country hasn't had a salary increase for years, and we're taxing the daylights out of these people, small businesses, which can double in size if they have access to capital and a decent tax structure. Uh, we can create jobs, and I think Trump is absolutely right about this. I think it's important that we revise the tax code. We've got to get uh, the middle class more money. Uh, because that's going to generate jobs. Small businesses are going to get smarter and better. But it is an ambitious schedule. We better get it right, more yeah. importantly than anything. Well, what do you mean, get it right? I mean, Mary Kissel, what does getting it right mean? Does getting it right mean that you're going to leave the top <laughs> rate at 39.6%, take away the state and local <laughs> income tax, meaning that the highest earners in many portions of the country pay higher taxes? Is well, that look, getting look, it look. right? Is it getting it right to get bullied in terms of not, um, not uh, reversing the estate tax? No, well, look, the Trump administration is basically mimicking what the Democrats are saying, which is playing class warfare. Somehow it's bad to get rich in America, Maria, and we can't cut the highest taxes on the people who are employing other Americans. So that's bad. Uh, there's not talk of a corporate tax cut phase in. That's bad. I think that's what you're seeing, look, look I think what you're insane. seeing on Capitol Hill is Republicans are just, they're, they're losing it. What is the point of doing this cut if all you're going to do is cut the, now look, Cutting the corporate tax rate, yes, that's fine. But if you're phasing it in, if you're not doing these other things that are going to promote growth, then Trump might not get a second term to get a second bite at this apple. they got to go big now. They're stuck on process. All they care about is some kind of magical uh, deficit ba uh, budget balance over 10 years. It may or may not happen. They should set that aside. They should go big, give Americans a tax yeah, break. What happened yeah. to the trickle-down economics, uh, Dagan? And they deserve to be, the Republicans deserve to be lambasted all day long until we're blue in the face for not having their acts together. Yeah. They have had years. This is the the moment they've been waiting for. Right. Where is this they a could, surprise that so, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey is pushing back on the local so state? They, no. that, are you shocked by that? It, no. They have been shamed into basically buying and regurgitating Democrat talking yeah, points. They, and I, I want to point out, because you guys in the editorial page have an a, a editorial just about the child again, tax great. credit. A sop to the likes of Marco Rubio and Mike Lee. The child tax credit, if it's double, this is a form of welfare through the tax code. It is income redistribution. And it would potentially cost one and a half trillion dollars. Yeah, but Marco Rubio wants period. to run for president. So he wants to right. stand up and say, hey, I Be gave stuff to parents of America. Aren't I great? If you're elected. against this, oh, you hate yeah. children. And that yeah. is hooey. Yeah. But, but the biggest and probably problem, the leadership is on Marco Rubio's yeah. side. Right. Yeah, but the biggest problem right here is they don't have the message. Is it a growth budget? Are we taking people, going bring them back to the United States for onshoring? Mm -hmm. Are we going to grow this economy? What's the message for the American people? They, they, it's all muddled right now. Yeah, that's, Ed, that's a mistake. Ed Renzi, stay right there. We'll be